Hey guys, Jeremy LaFrance with Backstage Entertainment, hanging out at Stir Cove here with Alter Bridges, Mark. Mark, how you doing? Good, how about yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, Stir Cove, uh, you guys played a lot of outside venues before. How does this one kind of compare, you think? Uh, it looks cool, you know, got the, it's got a good scenery. Um, right next to a casino. Can't, right next to a can't, casino, can't yeah. Complain there. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a beautiful day. Hopefully we don't get rained out. Yeah, yeah. We had, uh, I don't know if you guys were in town last night, but yeah, uh, some we were, man. places around the area had, what, uh, softball-sized hail. And yeah. Yeah, you never know what comes to the Midwest as far as weather goes. Oh, yeah. Getting more towards the band, I guess Alter Bridge, kind of a unique name. Where did Alter Bridge come from? I kind of heard rumors about it actually named after a bridge. Yeah, it's a bridge uh, where I grew up. It, it bordered the um, city from the suburbs, and it was a it was a bridge we weren't allowed to cross as children so okay. it kind of represented that unknown territory to us right mm -hmm. right okay so now the kind of the cool thing is yourself uh, Brian and Scott are all in Creed mm -hmm. and you guys just got off a tour not too long ago how mm -hmm. does it compare I guess managing two bands like you guys do and at the level they both at pretty high uh, you, you know it's it's been easy just we just have to schedule ahead of time about a, about a year and a half ahead of time to make sure right. everybody's every record has gets us to uh, uh, period of time to, to really service so it's uh, yeah. just a lot of planning yeah I guess what kind of made you guys when you started uh, to branch out from Creed to do mm -hmm. Alter Bridge what was um, the decision there anyway well Creed was uh, we knew Creed was breaking up and um, towards the tail end there we started trying to reorganize to get an, another band going and, and uh, it just came out of necessity okay mm -hmm. and you guys are doing great now. So yeah, we're doing the, doing the best we can. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys just released your album back in last October uh, mm -hmm. called AB3. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, it sounds like, I mean, you're, we're still hearing new singles on the radio and everything. Mm -hmm. How does that album, how, how, what do you think has made it been so uh, top-notch, I guess, that it's still even good almost a year later? Um, you know, we're, we're just on our second single, so, um, you know, hopefully... Uh, We'll keep on going for another another year on this record, so we have time mm -hmm. to work on another album for uh, for about another another year and a half from now. Right, right. Okay. Well, yeah. Best of luck for the new album coming up, and uh, you know, just thank keep, you. Keep breaking out singles for us yes, here. So yeah. now I just mentioned to you, we're going to go to the BSE box mm -hmm. with uh, our fans out there have submitted questions to our Facebook mm -hmm. page. We wanted to ask you guys some questions, so sure. you're going to draw right. and decide your own fate here. So Let's see what happens. All right. right. What's, what do we got for the first one? If the band was on a deserted island, which member would you eat first and why? <laughs> wow. Um, crazy question. We have some crazy fans out there. <laughs> geez. We'd probably eat Miles first because Miles eats the healthiest and his his uh, he'd be the most nutritious to eat. There you go. Yeah. That's, that's a good answer right Brian, there. <laughs> Brian and Scott, you might start uh, <laughs> coming down with something. <laughs> If you could learn to play any other instrument you didn't already play, what would you play? Um, I like playing the drums. I think the drums are fun. I've got okay. a drum set at home, and uh, I've played a little bit. That's one that uh, if I had the time to really dig in, I'd, I'd get into next. Have you heard which instrument is like the hardest to learn? I've heard drums up there along with piano. What do you think? Um, yeah, I think it's. I just think it's how far you take it. You know, yeah. each one of them can be can be a challenge. Whatever but, time uh, you dedicate. Yeah. Huh? All right. Let's see. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, I lost one. That's all right. What was the worst chore you had to do growing up? Um, geez, probably, probably cleaning out the garage. I wasn't a fan of all the bugs and crap that uh, got yeah. you know in, in the in I dad's work, that. work I shit. That. So when you're a, when you're a kid, the, that's not cool. What's the craziest thing you've signed? A tampon. Really? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a story yeah. riding that one or? No, just signed just a tampon. Threw it in front of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New, yeah, fresh tampon. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a fresh one. <laughs> what has been your worst job? I think I have a tie. Um, I've had some bad jobs. Um, I worked at a car wash for five. Five years. Okay. The busiest car wash a few years at, in uh, Octopus Car Wash in Orlando. Awful job. Uh, I met some good friends there, though. Um, but um, that, and I was a fry cook at Chili's, uh, which 
I still have I still have my scars on my arms. Really? From it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that was pretty tough. But then I I upgraded to to uh, to doing the grill and the broiler and became an expo cook in the end. But cooking was was a tough job in, really? in college. Really? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't sound fun. But no. Luckily now you're doing probably your dream job. I would imagine. Oh yeah, this is all I wanted to do. <laughs> What's the weirdest item a fan has either thrown at you while on stage or given you? Um, Another tampon? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I've, 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 uh, you know, um, prosthetic limbs. You know, oh, yeah. to, to sign. I think that's kind of one that you get, and you're kind right. of shocked a little bit. Uh, we were given some big, giant, uh, elaborate, welded battle axe. That was pretty. Really? That, that Brian like jumped all over that. <laughs> I don't know what what he did with it. He probably guards right. his guards his garden with it. Well, we'll try for one more here, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the band. All right. Do you get recognized in public, and do you want to be? I get recognized every now and then. You know, it depends on where I'm at. If I'm if I'm at a concert, you know, yeah, it's, it's more likely to be recognized, or at a guitar shop or something. But if I'm just uh, going to the library or, <laughs> or going right. to the wherever I, wherever the day takes me maybe once or twice has anybody know. ever like freaked out and getting to meet you or anything like that I uh, you know every now and then you meet people that are real excited and say they you know picked up guitar because they listen to your music which is always a huge yep. honor and uh, yeah I mean it's, it's great to meet fans then do you ever want to get to even even higher recognition than you already do like a big-time celebrity or anything? Oh, I mean I have no no desire to be a big celebrity I just have a desire to make the best music I can after there you I go have. It takes off it you just yeah. go where it takes you huh? yeah okay well then just for the fans out there tell them a little bit more about where Alter Bridge is going here on out I guess moving forward any tour more tour dates you guys have lined up or um, anything like that um, we're gonna be out in the Carnival of Madness till September 18th and okay. then we go to um, we might be going to Australia it's kind of up in the air right now okay and then uh, October November we go out to Europe okay. and uh, to six weeks out in Europe Okay, and then where can the fans go to find more about you guys? Uh, AlterBridge.com has all our tour schedules, and um, right. you know we all we all do the Twitter thing, let everybody know what we're doing day to day. We, uh, you know, we have a Facebook, we have uh, just all the social media, all social networks. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. all over yeah. on the internet yeah. now. So, but AlterBridge.com is the hub. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll send fans go there. AlterBridge.com. From there, it'll branch out. So, all right. Once again, with AlterBridge, Mark here. At Stir Cove, they're about to perform. Look for the interview and look for Alter Bridge, guys. Yes. Hey, everyone. Make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.